Hi guys, Sean here from StudyClix, and in this video we're going to be looking at axiom 2, the ruler axiom. So the properties of the distance between two points is, first of all, the distance AB is never negative, which just means that uh, the distance of a line can never be a negative number, which is fairly intuitive, you know, nothing too uh, surprising about that. Uh, point 2 is that AB is equal to BA, so in other words, regardless of uh, the direction in which you measure the distance is always going to be the same. So distance isn't affected by direction is another handy way of thinking about this. Point three states that if C lies on AB, so we have a point C, which we can just say is here, so we call that C, uh, between A and B, then AB is equal to AC plus CB. So in other words, a uh, distance is preserved through addition. But just to show you kind of, you know, an example here with lengths, we can take out our router and if we have a point C on AB like we do here, uh, we can just say that AC, which is this length, uh, plus CB, which is this length, uh, pretty much adds up to AB, which is the total length from, from A to B. So uh, it makes sense when you see it visually. So point four states that given any ray from A, and given any real number k greater than or equal to zero, there is a unique point b on the ray whose distance from a is k. So this just, in other words, in, in simpler language, means that a line can be any length. Uh, but to illustrate this, we're just going to remove b for now and just move our line a bit further out in the direction that b was. So uh, if we move our, extend our line out here in this direction, uh, regardless of how far we've gone, so regardless of what the, this length is, which we will call k, uh, we can always say that b is the endpoint of the line. So no matter how big we choose k to be, there is this unique point b over here whose distance from a is k. So this is just a fancy way basically of saying that every line can end or every line uh, where that has a point at the end of it can be measured as a distance. So that is it for this video and I'll see you next time.